we may not always have the specific tooling we want on a build agent. We can use Docker Hub container images to get specific tools we want for our builds. Let's examine that in a workflow. We're looking at our very first workflow where we were using Windows 2022 or Windows Latest as our label, and it has an included set of software. We can go to GitHub to see a page with things indicated such as Note 1614 and NPM 831. Now, if we want a later version of Node or earlier version of Node, we can use Docker to get a container image from Docker Hub and use that to get very specific versions of Node and NPM. So I'm gonna to go to hub.docker.com and search for Node to get official verified Node container images. Now I can get Node 17, Node 16, or even down to Node 14 container images and use those um, for this scenario. So we're gonna do exactly that. We're going to um, use a container image as a replacement for the build agent. So while builds and workflows technically will still run on a build agent, we're going to run the steps within the context of our Docker uh, container. Now, this involves just a slight variation on our workflow YAML file. When we do our run zone, we're going to add another configuration we're setting. We're going to use a container keyword, and this is where we'll specify our container. So we'll start with node 17.6.0. We'll get very specific here. And this will allow us to run our um, workflow steps within this container instance, pull in this container image from Docker Hub. Now we can run Windows containers, sure, but I'm gonna run this on a um, on an agent that's running Ubuntu latest. So we'll save and we'll go to um, commit this, um, run node 17 as our commit message, sync our changes to our remote remo repository. Go to GitHub Actions and check run node 17 and see how things are going. So it's looking for an agent with Ubuntu latest as the label. It's waiting for a runner to pick up the job. It's initializing our container by pulling it from Docker Hub. That's that node 17 container. Check the version of node. It flashed pretty quickly, but if you saw it, it was node 17.6, NPM 8.5. So everything works successfully. We're now able to more tightly control versions. And we could do this with earlier versions of Node. If we wanted to downgrade to Node 14, we could do that too. So run uh, Node 14 will be our new commit message. And the only change we made was to change our uh, container version, um, just our container tag right here. We'll commit that locally and sync our changes up to uh, GitHub remote repository. We will go back to GitHub Actions, see a new GitHub Actions workflow run. There we go. It's pulling another build agent with the label Ubuntu Latest. And just to show exactly what I'm talking about here, the virtual environment, if you go to the software list, the virtual environment itself is running uh, NPM 831 and Node 1614. But since the steps are running within the container, the steps are running node versions 14.19.0 and NPM version 6.14.16. Again, allowing us a bit tighter control over the SDK versions that we need for our individual build steps.